This week on Ask Travel, we are talking about traveling in 2021, the size or sizes of Australian beer, and the best campervan companies in Australia. Hi, it's Daryl from Welcome to Travel. Hey, it's Adam from Welcome to Travel. And this is Ask Travel, our weekly episode where we answer your travel questions. So write a travel question in the comments below or follow us on Instagram at welcome2.travel and ask us a travel question there and we'll be more than happy to answer them. Adam, have you got a question for me? I, more than happy. I have more than happy for you. Um, yeah. Question one for Mr. Daryl Newby from Welcome to Travel. This question is from Poppy Golding. Thank you, Poppy. Um, she asks, is there any hope for 2020, October 2021 tours? God, I bloody uh, hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I bloody hope so. Um, yes, As I think there's quite a lot of hope. I'm, I'm optimistic at the best of times. Uh, but d during COVID, I've been quite pessimistic in terms of when we're going to be operating and running tours again. Now, the way Australia has handled the COVID situation, I feel has been pretty good in comparison to the rest of the world. And like our number of cases has been quite low. I think what's going to be the hardest part is when we're transitioning from trying to get people from overseas, like from Europe or North America, over to Australia whilst keeping Australia safe. I think um, there are going to be announcements in the next few weeks of how that may happen, but it could be where people land, do a two week quarantine, and then are able to travel. So I'd be more hopeful in terms of like, if you are coming on a working holiday because you can spend a little bit longer in Australia. If you're just coming over for like a holiday, say so four weeks, if two weeks of that is in quarantine, it's probably not going to be worth it, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, but if you're going to be coming over for a whole working holiday, yeah, I'm very hopeful. Um, and please, please, uh, yeah, hopefully in October 21 we'll be operating so as well, we have them. Oh, yeah. I'd say from October 21 we'll pretty much be operating them, I'd like to think, near enough as normal. It's that time in between where... I think there's going to be huge developments in the next three or four months in the world in terms of faster testing, um, like the, fi the, the 15 minute test that we're already talking about, how far realistically a vaccine is and things like that. And yeah, I think there's going to be, and then there's going to be different stages, isn't there, where we, we might just have people coming in quarantining at first, then it might be reduced quarantine, then they may be, may not be in a hotel or quarantine. We don't know. It, Probably it's going to change four or five times before October, but hopefully then we'll be looking at, hopefully kind of winning near enough as normal. Yeah, it's a full year, isn't it? And if you think of how yeah. much has changed within like it's seven, six months, seven months, mm. since the first side. Yeah. So there's going to be so much change within uh, this year. So yeah, we will be operating, hopefully. Touch wood. Adam, I've got a beer related question for you. Oh, thank you for that question, Poppy, as well. I was like, yeah. Good question, Poppy. Um, could you explain the difference between a pot... Oh, what time is it? Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, just my computer telling me it's 10 o'clock. Just in could case. You explain the di could you explain the difference between a pot, pint, midi, schooner, handle, and glass of beer... And this question is being asked by the legend Blair Weller. Blair Weller. Just, uh, you're trying to trip up two English blokes in Australia here, aren't you? You're trying to trip us up with this question. First of all, for everyone, this is something I specifically remember reading in my Lonely Planet book in 2009 before coming out here, that different states have different names for a lot of things. So whether it be so football, for example, is, yeah, it can mean three different things in Australia. It's Aussie rules here, rugby league somewhere else, rugby union somewhere else. Um, it's, and beer is the big one though. So I'm gonna attempt this. So what names have we got? So a pot and a midi. So a pot and a midi, I believe is about, is half a pint, 285 mil. So 
in the UK you might say, oh, it's just a half pint glass. It's called a, that's a pot or a pint, uh, sorry, a pot or a midi in Victoria. But in South Australia, they call that a schooner. So like a little boat, they call it a schooner. In Northern Territory, they call that a handle. So that's all the same measure, 285 mil. A pine in everywhere apart from South Australia is an, ap- an actual normal pine, 568 mil. But if you ask for a pine in South Australia, so Adelaide, you'll get 425 mil. So that doesn't make sense. And 425 mil is a measurement of a schooner everywhere else. Well, especially in Victoria. So if you asked for a schooner in Melbourne, you're basically getting somewhere in between a half pint and a pint of beer, which I think is a, it's actually a perfect measurement of schooner. You don't really need the full pint, but you don't want to be there with a thimble either. Um, but if you did just like order a beer as standard, quite often you would get the midi or the pot. Um, and yeah, you have put glass of beer here as well. I've no idea what a glass of beer is. I just say it's a pot or a pint, uh, a pot or a midi. Yeah, so very confusing. Yeah, how do you know that? Do you drink? <laughs> he drinks. It's different measures, isn't it? For different states, really. If you look at it. Yeah, yeah very confusing. Um, mm. Cool, so thank you, Blair, for trying to trip us up. You might have, don't know. Maybe you can comment ask, saying if we got it right or not. Um, Daryl, I've got an easier question for you. Um, and oh, question from esther.m26. Um, we know these aren't people's real names, by the way. We're just saying them so you know your social media handle. Um, Daryl, what is the best camper van hire company for a trip up the East Coast? Cool. Good question. We're going up the East Coast. Um, so generally, I think of like from Melbourne to Cairns or Sydney to Cairns. Um, first off, you need to find out which camper van companies have depots in these places. So in Melbourne, Sydney or Cairns. Now, it, and it also depends on the size of the group which you're traveling with. So uh, pretty much like the go-to for like a couple who are like looking for like affordability and yeah, and pretty comfortable are Juicy and Spaceships. Uh, I myself uh, have a Juicy camper van myself so I can go for little weekend trips. Um, they're just amazing. Have everything that you need like sink, fridge, and you've got a double bed and you can seat four people as well in the vehicle. But then again, if you're thinking of maybe having some more people as well, you've also got companies like Travelers Autobahn, Travel Wheels, and then as you go like a little bit bigger, you've got Apollo and Brit. I know these names won't mean anything to you, um, but I'll flash up some pictures where Adam's face is. So you can understand like the size of a vehicle as well. Um, but you don't necessarily need a camper van as well. Some people can get a car and drive from place to place and go like into like hostels throughout as well. It really depends on like the style of traveling which you want and who you're going to be traveling with um, and the size of a group. Right, it's key and to- also budget. Well, they cut like also that those, I think when I came over here, like, I just assumed every camper like was like a motorhome back home. So those first one you mm. mentioned, the reason they are more affordable is because they have like the fridge, they have the gas cooker, and they have kind of everything you need for a camping trip. Um, but then they're not like self-contained, are they? They don't have bathrooms stuff like that. Where the bigger ones are no. big motorhomes, aren't they? With big um, with bathrooms in basically. Yeah, they're essentially like people movers, but with beds in the back and like. Yeah, with fridges and sink as well. So uh, really well laid out. Yeah. And you can have um, floors as well, can't you, in those? Like I'm going for a couple of weeks in Queensland, you have like two on the top and then uh, two on the bottom and then there's like another um, mm. section we go up and then another double bed so you can, yeah. And it's so affordable. When you said floors, I thought you meant, oh, there's floors in it, as in like, it's not always the best, but oh, you're like it falls. levels. All right, floors. It's not fall. Yeah. Four people. Two? Yeah. Two. There we go. Maths. Maths. 
not a party trick, is it? Um, cool. So, thank you very much. Um, they were good questions. Uh, yeah, kind of optimistic questions, talking about traveling, talking about tours running again, and talking about beer. Cheers, Blair. Um, so yeah, thanks to everyone for those questions. And if you do want to ask a question, comments um, under this video is the best way or uh, messaging us on Instagram every week when we put on our story, asking for questions every Tuesday. Yes. yes. Um, we should say as well for the camper van part, if you do like need some help finding which one's going to be best, just comment below, email us, like get us on Instagram and we'll point you in the right direction as well. Yeah, we've got contacts, we can help you with good prices and we, we just kind of know the best way to go about it as well from experience and helping thousands of travellers out. Cool. Yeah. Anything else, Daryl? No, that's it. That's that's it. <laughs> that's just it. Cool. That's it. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Ooh.